<laughs> all right, all right. What's going on, party people? This your man Griff. Whoo! Oh man, we gonna try to do Fritter Friday tonight. I say try to because me and the wife we both tired. She, I, I requested that she attend. Hopefully, she'll be able to hop on for a little bit and everything and share some words of wisdom and encouragement. If I don't get ran off the road, these people are crazy out here. Oh my goodness, these folks driving wild. And it ain't me. I know many of y'all be fussing. Why are you doing the, the videos when you're driving? Look, I almost was hit twice today and I wasn't doing no videos or nothing. People out here driving just crazy, crazy. But yeah, we're gonna do the Fritter Friday tonight. We're gonna um, hop on and chop it up. Um, as always, you know, I love answering your questions, making sure everybody's squared away on what they need to know. Um, we're gonna look at some information and pass on to y'all some information about what I'm seeing about the real estate market. Um, things are getting better depending on where you are living at. <coughs> things are the same where depending on where you're living at and things are probably getting worse depending on where you're living at um it is no joke and all i can say is if you're not out here trying to pull in some kind of money you're doing yourself and your business a disservice i understand a lot of people have this you know this idea that they are worth all of this money and this for any kind of time and effort. But I'm be honest, from what I've been hearing, the people who don't have the notary business as their full-time thing, their full-time, you know, money maker as an entrepreneur, they're the ones that got some of the most sn snooty attitudes. And I'm cool with the people. I mean, I, I, that's fine, but let's just be real. If you got a regular day job, if you got all this other stuff going on that is primarily the main money maker for you, yes, you can be uppity about what you're going to take. And I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. You know, um, I'm fine with that. And this ain't to my lady who I talked to yesterday. This ain't to you. Um, this is something I had planned on talking about anyway. It was somebody I talked to yesterday and they were saying, you know, they do their orders and if the dollar amount is right, and I get that. And I understand fully. <clears throat> For those of you who are just coming into this business or thinking about coming into this business, you gotta do what you feel is right for you and not let what other people are doing for their business deter you from moving forward. I was all, I've always been the type I'm just taking whatever I can. And the reason why I did that, because I understood when I first started this business that numbers matter. The number of orders you have under your belt over a period of time matters more than who you took training from. Numbers matter, okay? What the people out there are looking at is, do you have the numbers? Do you show any evidence that you are out here doing this business, trying to do this business, want to do this business? Numbers matter. <clears throat> and what I've seen consistently is that the men and women who have good numbers for as the amount of work that they've done, the closings that they've done, the assignments they've done, they tend to get the better and the more consistent opportunities. If you have somebody who said, well, I don't do that many, but your numbers still matter because you, first of all, you're out there doing it. And second, your error rate is probably very low. So if you have a high number of orders and you got a high error rate, then again, numbers matter. So whether it's high numbers or low error rate, this the numbers matter. The numbers that don't matter to them is what you got paid by somebody else. They don't care what you got paid from any other closing company out there, a signing company, or a lender, or a title company. They don't care. They have what they're gonna pay you. So you're sitting up here like, well, 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 this other company normally pays me. Okay, that's cool, that's them. 
numbers matter. So you got to get your numbers up. And that is one of the things that has helped me getting my numbers up, making sure I have enough numbers under my belt. This thing right there we go. So that I got some experience, one for myself and two for them. They want us to have experience. So how do you get experience? By doing the work. Okay, somebody calling me. Let me pause this for a second. All right, so I got to splice this video together. No problem. <coughs> but numbers do matter. The numbers of orders that you do matter. And the quality of work that you do matters. All of that matters. So it's nothing wrong with, again, if you want to be educated in every aspect of every single document and know all of this and know the engine out and why this is that and why that is that and all of that and you want to do all that. I mean, you know, okay, fine. You can you can flood yourself with all that knowledge. But you still got to do the work. At some point in time, you got to go out there. And the problem is that so many people have all of this knowledge and they have no application of the knowledge. They have no proof that they're actually doing the work. I'm just looking to see if I can slide over because this traffic ain't no joke. That's where the point of failure is. So numbers matter. And you have to ask yourself, okay, what is the point of failure in my life as far as me moving forward in this business? And what I saw was I was too caught up on getting paid a certain dollar amount. But I know from other experiences as a entrepreneur that I got to get out there. And once a signing company, and I catch a couple of them, they told me, they said, well, once you get a certain um, amount of num you know, orders under your belt, yeah, we'll use you. Because I had reached out to a couple of them and I was like, hey, like people, everybody said, hey, reach out to them and tap you know you say you're available and they don't and then you need to hit them back up and i would call them up and they're like well we only mess with people they didn't say mess with, but we only rock you know, i ain't say rock with you i'm gonna talk my way they said you know we don't we don't, we don't roll with people unless they got like a hundred signers under their belt now this is before they started implementing the number of years but they said you got to have at least a hundred signers under your belt you have a hundred signers under your belt we roll with you i said all right no problem that's why I started adding the number of signings that I do in my profile. Didn't know that, did you? So I was like, okay, so if you want that number, I said, and I was like, okay, well, I'm at this amount. I'm pretty sure maybe they'll keep an eye on my profile to see how it progresses. Okay, well, let me add it in there. Let me do this amount. And then that amount. Okay, not just fudging numbers like some people tell y'all to do. And that's a shame. If your notary trainer has ever told you to lie, you and you still rocking with them don't you ever call me i'm serious don't even mess with me don't don't mm -mm. don't because that ain't even right that is not even right you're gonna pay all that money for somebody's training just for them to tell you to lie about what you know the number of work amount of work you've done in your profile and the same thing of these trainers of yours telling you oh tell them you your error fee your 100 percent error fee you never make any mistakes that's another lie to the pit of hell Okay, I'm serious. I'm serious. Don't, don't even, don't even, don't even rock with me. Okay, because if you, 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 I'm serious. I'm serious. I'm not even gonna go into it. But it's, I tell people, say, mm -mm. you, you stay over there. Don't call me asking me for help after you don't sit there and listen to their lies. You go make them. You don't want to pay them, and there ain't no amount of money that anybody could pay me to try to help you fix that mess that they don't got you into. Mm -mm. I don't want your money. Go on, go on about your business. But numbers do matter. And if you have the certain, the right amount of numbers, they will work with you. Now the numbers that matter are the amount of orders you have. First thing they wanna know, how many orders you got? Or maybe the second thing. How many years you've been in a business? And then they wanna, and typically, depending on the system, they might see the the percentage of errors, you know, your error percentage. But the main thing is how long you've been in a business and how many have you done? Are you actually doing work? That's what they want. 
just like you don't want to go to a hair um, stylist that, <coughs> yeah, they got their license two years ago, but they ain't done no heads. Well, how many heads are you doing? Okay, you got this salon open, but you ain't got no heads in the seat. Where your heads at? Okay, you got this barbershop. Where's the barbering going on at? I don't see that. Oh, I mean, I am, but, you know, I mean, the people that come in, they don't, they, they only want, you know, like a, fi a $15 haircut. And, I, and, you know, all my haircuts are 35 Okay, well, how about you do something for them for 15 just so you can get some money coming in? No, nah, my time is worth more than that. Uh-uh, they ain't worth my time. And see, that's the other thing that pisses me off with people. Everything is not worth your time. That's all. I mean, I hear so many, that ain't worth my time. That ain't worth my time. And y'all know doggone well, y'all be doing all kind of other mess that ain't even worth your time. Be spending your, and wasting your time doing all kinds of other mess. And then somebody say, okay, I'm gonna pay you 85. Mm, that ain't worth my time. My time is my man, you better than that. <laughs> I'm like, I'm serious. If y'all can get here the phone calls, I get some time. I've had guys call me, yo, grill, man, would you go and do an order for a hundred dollars and you had to drive 45 minutes to it? Yeah. Man, what's wrong? Uh uh, nah, man. See, I can't be doing that. I, oh, nah, nah, dog. I can't be doing that, man. Okay, so why are you calling me? Would you thought I was going to tell you no? I mean, I saw your video where you said you'd be doing that stuff. Okay, so then what's the problem? Why are you calling me? But you thought I was, I was lying on the video and now I'm going to tell you the truth that I don't be doing that. No, I do that. I do that. So are you? No, I'm like, so, so, so what was you expecting from me, man? I'm just saying, man, I, just, I, I don't I mean, how are you making money? By doing it? By doing the work? The same way that person who's getting paid eight fifty an hour making some kind of money by showing their hind parts up to work, working their eight hours for a day, 40 hours a week, 80 hours for every two weeks, 2,080 hours a year. That's how they make money. Make money doesn't mean you're making six, seven, eight, nine, twelve figures. Making money means you're making more than zero dollars. Now, what you get, what you take home, that's a different story. <coughs> but if you're talking about make money, well, to make money, you got to move forward into doing something that makes money, i.e., a job or a business. And not every job requires it. And what's the trip is that people go to all kind of lengths to go get a deal. Mm, I'm hopping. Oh, I'm a, I'm in Virginia. Oh, I'm gonna hop on that dag on um, that tour bus, and we gonna go up there to Potomac Mills, and and and, and we gonna get that in Northern Virginia, and we gonna go down to the outlets down there in, in Selma, North Carolina, and we gonna go over here to Williamsburg. And y'all spending all this time and effort, money on a daggone tour bus, so you willing to spend two hundred dollars on to go on a tour bus, night in the hotel, all of that kind of stuff, just to buy you one daggone pottery thing that you could have bought at Walmart. Well, Walmart's theirs is like five dollars more, so you spend two hundred some dollars. You need to chill out, dude. What is this dude problem? I told y'all folk crazy around here with this driving. Oh my goodness. Dude, I ain't the one. I am not the one. I am not the one. It's 88 degrees out here. Okay, yeah. It's, yeah, yeah. It's, it's just cool enough for me to just tear into your behind and, and then some. Don't don't play with me. I got my mace up here and your butt will be sprayed down. I am not the one. I'm serious. I am not the one. I am not the one, man. Why why y'all? Why? Why? Because you gonna, you gonna, I'm serious, you gonna mess around and get hurt. You gonna mess around and get hurt, y'all. You gotta get out here and work your, work to make your money. Work to make your money. And right now, a lot of folk ain't doing that. A lot of folk are not doing that. So, y'all go do what you gotta do. Let me get off this video because I might have to, I might have to put the, the hurting on this dude and everything. And I'm letting him know. I mean, he, he is just really trying to force his way 
to wherever the heck he's going. The traffic got to flow. We got like 40 cars out here and he's trying to force his way around. I'm serious. UNA8143 White Dodge Ram. UNA8143 White Dodge Ram. All right. So that way I got that down because that dude is just out here driving like a nutcase. I'm serious. He is driving like a nutcase. All right. Let me let me go, y'all. Going to do my thing, get my stuff done, my house inspection, and all that good stuff. But hopefully, the missus will be able to hop on for um, Fritter Friday tonight and um, answer some questions and share some stuff with y'all. You know, because there's still opportunities out here. There's still opportunities. And the one opportunity you got is that you woke up this morning and um, you got breath in your life, in your body. You got the life that you need to have, you know, in you that you can go out here and move and just go do what you got to do. All right. Talk to y'all later. Peace.